I'm Big Will Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. The Grand Valley is home to a variety of sports and activities, and in all of them, the Valley performs at a high level. But when it comes to pro fighting, there's room for growth, and as two local fighters prepare to fight on the big stage, they're determined to make the Western Slope a landmark for professional fighting. You've heard of boxing. You've heard of MMA. And you know that to partake in these, you have to be a warrior. But a new form of fighting is making huge waves, and it's fighting in its purest form, bare knuckle fighting. No gloves, no pads, just bones and skin going to battle. And later this month, two of Grand Junction's own, Andrew Yates and Angelo Trujillo, will be on bare knuckle fighting's biggest stage at the bare knuckle fighting championship in Denver. The last time Conor McGregor was there, he showed up and I mean, Big stars show up. This is not just a little event, you know. This is actually a big deal. It's it's like the UFC in, in you know, right respects to that. The sport, you know, the purest sport that you can have. It's bare knuckle. It's just straight, fast, high pace, like kind of like a street fight, but more intense, you know. You're more skilled. You got to think a little more, kind of be more faster on your feet. So, you know, it's it's not just going out there and fighting. It's kind of thinking, you know, switching your feet, using all your abilities, you know. We're warriors, we're out there. We're tough and we can throw hands and it only takes one shot. So uh, bare knuckles, that new, the new thing, it's as real as it gets. As we're putting our toes to the line and there's action at all times. So it's five two minute rounds and we're just, it's nonstop action. Someone is getting put to sleep or knocked out or there's gonna be blood and there's always blood. So it's a, it's a fun thing. It gets me excited. <laughs> yeah, these guys really are warriors. Warriors that are eager to grow their sport in their city. When you talk about MMA in the Valley, it's always my name comes up. I don't want that no more. I don't want my name coming up. I want all these youngsters' names coming up. I don't want to go for the championship belt. I want to go for a legacy of having other fighters come up underneath me, knowing that uh, I brought all these top athletes in from Junction. I want to take these guys and show them that, you know, if you want to be competitive, there's a place in Junction for you. We got it. We have a great community of combative sports that, that in the Valley. And uh, just if we could get a little more support, I think we could, we could grow fast and make this huge. For us to come out of Grand Junction and make a name for this town and make, you know, somebody go, oh, hey, they're from Grand Junction. Let's stop by there and, you know, invest in that town, you know, and see that town, you know. We bring the little spot of Grand Junction out here in Western Colorado, we're going to bring it a name and, you know, bring it something to, to talk about, you know, in the sports world, you know. And it helps to grow when you can win big fights on big stages. And at BKFC 50 in Denver on September 22nd, Andrew and Angelo are confident that the boys from the Western Slope can reign victorious. My expectations for our team, for us to both get knockouts, fast knockouts, there's going to be a lot of blood and a lot of uh, hard work spent in there, but... It's going to show what Golden Fights brought to the table, and it's going to show everybody that we're here and we're a team that's actually here to box and here to fight. I'm calling a third round, third round uh, doctor stoppage TKO. I think I'm going to stop him in the third for sure. He ain't going to make it to the third. If he does, he's done in the third. We're going to win. It's game time. That's, there's a switch, and when my switch is flipped, there's nothing that's going to stop me. I'm going to do what I want. What, whatever on my mind, I'm going for it. I'm going to do it. This is my time. This is my time. This is personal to me. I don't really care who he is. It could be anybody in my way right now. Uh, I've been in this game since 2008, fighting amateur, went pro in 2012. It's personal to me now. I'm, I don't have nothing to prove to anybody, and I'm just going to go out there, win this fight, and uh, keep moving on. I want to, I'm going to take a bare knuckle. This, this sport's made for me. I'm going to take it out, so. Wow. Absolute gladiators. Good luck to both Andrew and Angelo as they get ready for the biggest fight of their lives. That's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.